Everybody needs beauty as well as bread, places to play in and pray in, where nature may heal and give strength to the body and soul. This trip found us exploring the Ellicott Rock Wilderness Area. We ended the day at the Blue Valley Campground south of Highlands, North Carolina. first night we knew we were in for a lot of rain, about 14 hours worth to be exact. It was a great test for our new Gazelle tent and the tent did fabulous. It's so nice to be able to hunker down and weather out a storm without the anxiety of water seeping through. What you doing there to my Jeep? <laughs> yeah, we both know whose Jeep it really is. The next day we set out to explore the lower White Waterfalls area. We found this area to be much more equipped for wheeling. The trails were not as well maintained and therefore made the ride more fun and challenging overall. The rain from the night before led to some great mud and water crossings. The waterfalls we came across were flowing at full capacity. Keep close, contemplate on a cloudy day. Dust falling down from the ceiling fan 
tracks of a past life, steps and plans I'd follow. And the world just turns like a record spins. I close my eyes, smell the rain rolling, cracked windows. And you might have your sympathy, but I've got this time a fire and pico. And wait for blue on a cloudy day. We had intended to set up camp in this area. However, the main obstacle became getting past multiple closed gates, which we found to be impossible. After exploring into dusk, we settled for a neighborhood campground in the Pisgah National Forest. There's someone running around in your head tonight, circling your heart like a satellite, I know. Breaks a flash of light, dries up the rain before the embers go. Cut your blood, oh, your blood. Cut your blood in a cloud. On our last day, we were grateful to find this idyllic campsite. We spent much of the day walking, playing in the streams, and soaking up the sun in solitude. Mark Twain has said that in 20 years, you will be more disappointed by what you didn't do than by what you did. Make time for it, because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing.
a trip. I'm gonna hit some pavement now. Located an air, air connection right here it's by the fuel cap. And then these factory box sliders for Rubicons. I had them capped off and made air tanks out of them. So each one of these holds just about a gallon and a half of air. So it gives me a little bit of uh, stored air. It helps the compressor. Um, I kick it on right before we get, re get ready to get back on the main road. Let them fill up so that way I have a little boost when we get started here. Okay, the tanks are full now. The uh, ARB twin uh, compressor has the tanks full. We're gonna see how long it takes to go from 17.5 PSI all the way up to say 32. Got the timer here. We'll start now. Thirty-two and a half. About forty-eight, forty-nine seconds. That was a uh, thirty-seven inch um, by thirteen and a half on a twenty. The ARB compressor is right behind this fender panel, um, right below the battery box on the four-cylinder turbo that bottom battery box is an empty box so I mounted a plate and mounted the compressor to that plate to the bottom of the box. 